Let's balance the equation for C7H5N3O6, decomposing, breaking apart into nitrogen, hydrogen gas, carbon monoxide, and then solid carbon. This is TNT, it's an explosive. So when this one thing, it breaks down, this is a decomposition reaction, it breaks down into all of these, three of them are gases. Those gases expand, occupy more space, they cause the explosion. So to balance the equation for the decomposition of TNT, I've already counted the atoms up. The thing to be careful of, I have a carbon here and here. So one plus one, that gives me two. So I balanced this equation before I made the video. And what I found was it's a little difficult. I have two carbons, so I'm not sure which one to change. So I found it was easier to try to get this nitrogen here to an even number because I have three here and two here. That's going to be tough to balance. So I know I need a two in front of the C7H5N3O6. Let me update these numbers, multiply everything by two. And so now I have an even number. That's going to be really easy to fix. If I look at the carbons, again, I'm trying to figure out which one should I change. But the oxygens, I know I'm going to need a 12 here, because 1 times 12, that would give me 12 oxygens. That would balance the oxygens. And now for the carbon, it makes a little more sense. So I need 14 total carbons. I have 12 here plus, let's just put a 2 here. That gives us 14. I need 10 hydrogens. I have two, put a five here. Two times five, that gives us 10. Then for the nitrogen, I have six and two, put a three here. This equation is balanced. It's a little bit of a difficult equation to balance, but if you stick with it, you'll get the right answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C7H5N3O6. Yields N2 plus H2 plus CO plus C. If you were to write the states, they'd look like this. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.